So today there is a nearby house which is somewhere there a bit down and the neighbor apparently decided to put music and I don't know if it's capturing on the audio of this recording right now but it's kind of like hearable from here and it's this kind of like trembling music like do 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 and it's kind of like I I felt like making a quick recording on some some insights and some observations so the first thing is like this type of music is really disturbing not necessarily it's like what type of music it's it's the beat which is interrupted you know it's like do 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 and it's like because this type of tempos are discontinuous and they have this like tuf 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 any type of beat which has this type of discontinuity discontinuity to it like do 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 it's it creates um it creates a sort of like disruption in our natural brain waves so naturally if you look in nature most of the sounds in nature they are continuous organic sounds even if there are birds for sure that they are making like those chirps like chip, 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 and it's discontinuous uh, sounds from nature usually tend to be more organic or they have a certain like continuity or melody to it but this type of sound at least for me which comes from this music right now it's deeply disturbing and I can feel how for example because it contains voices voices of people and the voice of somebody contains extremely much of that person's internal chemistry internal the chemistry of one's soul and i can tell you that the, these people that they are singing these songs they are really really they, they have really dark souls i can s call it that it's like they, there is a lot of illness in them and when they speak they they only have to speak no it doesn't matter what they say they could and they they could even just retell how they went in vac vacation or to the seaside or they they went to the supermarket and bought a you know pack of rice it doesn't matter what they say it's it's because when they speak they use their voice and their voice encapsulates the essence of their soul and because most people's souls are really really ill and dark especially as I've noticed that these singers tend to be really dark souls, really ill souls. And when they are propagating their voice, it is this energetic illness that is spreaded all around, like a spray of sorts. So this is like, not only it's like an auditory pollution right now, because it is a sound pollution right now. But it is an energetic pollution as well, because if it would have been only the sound without the voices, there would have been only mostly sound pollution. And I would have had, for example, a disruptive mental activity. But because there are voices as well, now I have to witness my soul being disrupted as well. Because my soul intakes the essence of these voices without my will, I can I cannot close my soul. So my soul is now extremely brutalized by the illness and the darkness contained within the essence that it is being transmitted through these voices. So it's both a mental disruption and a disruption at the level of the soul. So this is where I get to my next insight. It's like People being allowed to, to just, you know, do whatever they want, for example, to just play music in this way, 
there is no, let's say, education, first of all, telling us what sound really is and how, what music really is and what happens when we listen to music and how easy it is f to have our mind extremely altered by sounds and music in general and any type of sound and voice and what happens to our soul when we hear voices and how our the essence of our soul is being transmitted through voices and then how sound influences our mind and it changes our brain waves and our brain chemistry and then through the brain chemistry, the internal, the entire endocrine and hormonal uh, system is being disrupted and there, there, there are so many things that are related to sound and how, how much it affects our entire human functionality and this type of education is really lacking right now. There is a crass lack of education related to sound and how it affects our entire biology and not only our biology physically, but also our energy as well, our state of mind and our state of being. Uh, so because of this poor lack of education right now related to sound and its highly, extremely high influence upon our entire life experience and our entire mind and soul and body people are just currently allowed to just play this i could i i will just name them exactly as they are this ill and filthy sounds and ill and filthy music is just spraying diseases just like that and it's, it's like i it's almost like it's unbelievable that we are living in a society in which this is even allowed. It's like it's it's allowed to just spread disease just like that, thinking that you are doing something, you know, benign and thinking that you are enjoying yourself and you're having a good time, you know, while you are just freaking spreading disease and illness and disrupting not only the others which you might not even care about but you are disrupting yourself your children your mind your body thinking that you're all right you know and then if you look at these people that especially they listen to this type of music they are really obese individuals and you can he you can see that for example they have this swollen up belly or if you listen to them, you encounter them, you will see that they always have all sorts of illnesses, you know, physical illnesses or all sorts of things happening to them. They, they don't even realize how much harm they are doing to themselves through so many wrong actions. And music is just one of these wrong things. The food that they eat is so damaging to their entire mind and body. Most of the food that they eat, it's garbage. So here's a sound pollution, like it's spread it everywhere. My soul feels completely disturbed right now. I can barely concentrate to even make this recording because at the level of my soul there is so much pain right now. I feel like crying, you know, it's, it's really hard. It, it's not me that, it's just the soul feels like this. I just want to cry or scream at them or just make them stop. But I can't, you know, because in Romania, this, they, everybody's just allowed to put music and sometimes even if it's during the day, they are allowed to just, you know, up, up, up the v volume, you know, and play the music loud because it's, it, it is considered that during the day it is allowed. So... I could just go and try to reason with them, you know, and explain that, you know, it is disturbing for me, but I do not have the courage. Because there is this, you know, voice in my mind telling me like, oh, well, they have their own right, you know, to do whatever they want on their property. And even though it harms, harms me, like, how can I ask them to stop, you know? So I usually don't do nothing and but it's really difficult, it's, it's a really, not only that 
it is unpleasant. It's really difficult. It's really difficult to concentrate mentally and to have this balanced, peaceful, emotional, soulful state. And I was working at something and I also wanted to eat and it's impossible. Like, it's hard for me to eat in these conditions with this type of music. So I have to just wait. I don't know if they will even stop until later today or who knows. It just feels like if I eat when this type of music is around me, I, I eat, it's just I ingest all this garbage, you know, in me. All this garbage energy that already is here, I have to somehow ingest it in myself because the act of eating food is so sacred, it's so profound, you know. It's like our soul opens when we eat. When we open our mouth, something in us opens, becomes extremely receptive. So we ingest all these type of energies that are around us and this is why the environment in which we eat is extremely important. Ideally, we should eat in a quiet, peaceful, natural environment. Without disturbances, without TV, without voices of people, without music, without scrolling the phone, we should just be there in communion with our food with our body, with our mind and with our soul while ingesting this food. So yeah, this, this was just a quick observation and the last thing that I to say is just just feels extremely violating right now i can see how my soul feels and my internal system feels you know violated and this is what humanity us as humans we are doing to each other we are just raping and violating one another with our lifestyle all day long because we have been you know allowed to live this type of lifestyle in, in which everybody you know it's it's allowed, in a way, to just live its own life the way it pleases. But look what happens when you have individuals which have completely different perspectives of reality and we don't have the same type of good and bad. Or I believe we have the same good and bad, but some people are just not aware of the wrongness and the illness that they are doing to themselves and they take the evil for good and they take illness for health. And so, for example, they play this toxic music, which is harming them as well, but they just do not realize it. So because we ha don't have, basically, we don't have the same level of consciousness, and some of us, we are more aware, and some of us are really, really unaware and extremely unconscious of ourselves. The unconscious ones are doing a lot of harm to this earth and to themselves and to the other people around. And it's amazing, you know, it's amazing that unconscious people they are allowed to do whatever they want it's like it's unbelievable in a way like these these things like doing acting this in a way i don't know maybe i need to think more of this but it should appear common sense that the ones which are allowed to influence the reality for all of us it should they should be like the most conscious and aware individuals the most healthy ones the more most in tune with the entire cosmos which are able to be in tune with the rhythm of all the rhythm of all cosmos so their actions create coherence and harmony in a way not not harmony but coherence in reality these are the people which should be allowed to act and influence the state of being of all others and the unconscious ones they should be their actions you know it should be more limited but how can you devise a system like this and would it be even i don't know i think there has to be a deeper pondering upon this but right now it's really harm and it's 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 something devastating 
with a devastating consequences to allow unconscious individuals to influence and act upon this reality. These individuals, like, maybe, I, maybe I'm mistaken with what I'm saying, but these individuals at first glance right now, it just feels like they should be restricted or limited in some way. But how can you do that if everybody wants to be politically correct, let's say, and the same rights, it is said that it should be offered to everybody. Well, I believe we should have some distinctions, but these distinctions, you know, humanity has been making them in the past, creating these castes of people, you know, the, the, the king and queen were, you know, considered royal, and then you have the pebble or the... the but, but, you know, in the past, the distinctions were made related to blood or to now in modern times related to wealth. Yeah, if you had much more wealth, you are able to do whatever you want, you know. If you have less wealth, then you're not as capable or allowed to do whatever you want. But these are false distinctions. I believe that a true distinction should start to be the level of awareness and consciousness of, our in, of individuals. It's completely abnormal that our unconscious individuals are allowed to do whatever they want and thus spread their disease and illness upon others. This is why it's definitely clear that this reality is not a normal reality. It's far from being a normal one in which we are here to thrive together and we are here to grow together. This is an exercise. It's obvious. It's an exercise for the stronger among us. Because to be in this reality as a strong, conscious being, which you are so aware of so many things going on internally and externally, makes you so sensible and... You endure so much pain just by existing in this place. There is a lot of pain. As conscious as you are in this reality, as, as much as you will suffer tremendous pain. This is the formula. And this is why I believe it is a sort of exercise. Because to remain just and to remain sticking and aligned to your core inner truth in this reality means to be really, really strong. And to be able to remain just and aligned in your core inner truth and still remain also aware, that's something. Because, for example, right now, my core inner truth tells me, like, to eat food while in this garbage music, like, it's everywhere, this garbage music right now. It's, it's, it's completely... It would mean to denaturate myself from my core truth. It would mean to become something less than I am. So I refuse to eat food, although I feel feel hungry, you know. So this is what I'm saying, that it, it requires strength, because it's so easy to just go and say, ah, well, it's just some music, I'll go and eat, and I'm hungry, and I'll move on with my day, you know, it's not that bad, you know, it's, they are, they are they, some unconscious human beings, they are putting music, it's, it's not something, you know, extremely damaging for me if I, once I eat in a garbage music, but see, this, this means to denaturate yourself, to, to step away from true sovereign strength and power. It's like you're denaturating yourself 1% today and then tomorrow you'll do it another percent and then tomorrow, the, the day after that, you'll do another percent and then you look at yourself in 10 years and you see, oh my God, how much did I allow to denaturate myself? Look where I got, you know. And this is how it's just, this is how we accept the illness and the poison of this reality drop by drop and bit by bit. And this is how we look at ourselves 10 or 20 years you know, in the future and do not even recognize ourselves sometimes to what we became. So this is why to retain, this is why I'm saying that to retain oneself and aligned in one's core truth and still remain conscious of yourself it requires enormous mastery. Because now I have to endure hunger. I have to just 
be hungry, you know. Up until this music might at some point stop and I will be able to eat in peace, which aligns with my core truth and to what I feel naturality is. So if, if I know what naturality is, then I have to act upon what I know naturality to be. If I know, for example, that naturality is eating with a quiet mind in a quiet environment, and I know this is natural, and but I will act differently than this, then I will just... I will step away from my own truth. I will step away from naturality. It's not necessarily that we know what the right and wrong is. It's also how we act. It's like, I can know what right is. I can know what morality is. I can know what virtue is. But if my actions are different, then I'm not sticking by what I know to be true. So I'm departing from truth. I'm departing from virtue. I'm departing from who and what I truly am. I'm departing from naturality. Because our actions create who we are. They are reshaping our perception of reality. Now, if I eat today in this type of filthy music, tomorrow or one week from now, there will be another type of music. And I'll, my brain will think like, oh, nothing happened. You, you ate in that type of music one week ago and nothing happened. See, you are still here. You're all right. Everything went fine. You actually... There were nice things happening to you during this week, so why not eat again? And then I'll eat again in another filthy music and apparently nothing will happen, you know. But the thing is, that this is a thing that if nothing happens, that's a bad thing sometimes. Because you want things to happen. You want to see improvements in your life. You want to see magic happening to you. You want to have your perception open in magical ways you have you want to experience things which i haven't experienced them before if nothing happens that's something bad if our mundane reality contains to be the same mundane reality that's something bad the idea is how to regain our magical senses how to regain the magic of existence and to regain the magic of existence at least the way I'm seeing it currently, it requires a lot of effort. It requires us to act correctly, to act and stand by what we know to be true. Even though, as I said, it is difficult because right now I have to experience hunger, for example. But I decided and I choose to experience hunger rather than denaturate myself and eat under these conditions.